Hey everybody, this is Jordan from Reiko Rents. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration for how to download data using the new software called Safety Suite Device Configurator. And this is going to be used with all of your race systems products uh, to download data, get calibration certificates, view information. So first thing we're going to run into here is a login on the software. So there is a default username and password, and that is administrator with a capital A for the username. And the default password is default123 with a capital D. So remember this, there is a way to change that if you'd like to, uh, but we're sticking with this for now. And once we log in here, uh, we'll have access to the software. Now, in order to connect your device, be it a multi-ray, Q-ray, Toxi-ray, uh, you will need to put it into communications mode. So we do have a training video on how to do that with the old software called ProRay Studio that's no longer compatible with these devices. Uh, so if you do need help putting the instrument into communications mode, you can consult the manual or just watch the beginning of that video that's still on our website. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And it's going to take us straight to this device list. Now, if you have something already connected, it's going to run this startup scan. And it goes pretty quick usually, scans complete. So you can see here there's two devices listed. This is uh, one that I had connected to the software recently, but is not currently connected. That's what this logo indicates and this logo indicates that it is actively connected you can also filter out things like this so if i just want to see what's actively connected i can choose that and now i'm only seeing this one so uh, from here the first thing we want to do is download the data so what we're doing is we're taking the data off the monitor and bringing it into the software so in our device list, we just need to check this box and then all these options come up here. If I uncheck this, those go away. So that's the first step. And then we're going to download the data. And you can see here there's a notification menu. This is going to show you the progress of what's happening. And this should go pretty quick. All right, data download complete. So. Now from here, it's pretty easy. Your software may kind of reload like this, that's okay. Everything should be downloaded by now. And uh, now we can actually just view the data logs if we want. Same thing with any calibration results, stuff like that. So uh, let's take a look at our event logs. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was actually looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're not going to look at event logs. I think that's for maybe alarms and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go straight to the data logs and we can see uh, the data that has been collected. So here we get a nice quick summary. Um, you can see this one was essentially just a, a power on. Um, there was only one record here. And actually, it looks like the sample period was 600 seconds. So um, for whatever reason, that's the data that we have here. Uh, we can export this. So if we go back to the device list, again, we'll check the box here, export the data logs. We do need to make sure that uh, we're downloading data from the time range that we actually have data for. So I'm just gonna pick this whole month. Um, now we need to select where we wanna save this. So I'm just gonna drop it onto my desktop here and export to a CSV. And again, we get the notification that the data download is in progress or rather the export is in progress and it's complete. So, should have, here it is, there we go. So 
So here is my data log. This one only logged one piece of data, but uh, <laughs> you're going to find everything here. And you'll see now that uh, with this software, it has a, um, instead of just indicating the sensor and then all the readings underneath it, you're going to see a sensor one type indicating what sensor that is for the multi-ray. Uh, for a toxi ray, you, you're only going to see one sensor. Uh, but multi-rays and Q-rays, those are multi-gas monitors. So you will see multiple sensors. And it'll tell you what the sensor one type is and then your readings. So all your LEL data would be in this sensor one gas reading. Um, you've got average, minimums, maximums. So a lot of different variables for each sensor. <clears throat> So we can see this had an oxygen sensor to uh, an H2S sensor. It also indicates the last date of calibration. So we get that info. Now, if we want to export the calibration certificate, also very easy. We're going to go to this bump slash cal results. And here is the calibration certificate. So we can just select that and generate a certificate. And here we go. This is what it looks like. You get all the nice details, uh, the serial number of the sensors, whether or not it passed or failed, uh, the adjustments made during that calibration as well. So we had some decent adjustments here. And then we can just save it as a PDF. So same thing with this. I will save it to my desktop. And there's my PDF of the calibration certificate. So just a few easy steps. You can download the data from your instrument and also uh, get a calibration certificate to save for your records. If you have any questions, you can call us at 866-736-8347. Thanks for watching.